Hey y'all, it's Mikey from Rockin' K. And if you're wondering what you have stumbled into, you have stumbled your way all the way to Germany. Yes, Germany. So if you're a returning viewer, you're going to remember we were down doing some uh, tree removal and stuff in the spring and we had some stumps. Well, now we got to get rid of those stumps. So behind me, we have the excavator and yeah, we're going to go put it to use. All right, y'all, if you remember, uh, if you're a returning viewer, if you're new, uh, in the spring, we had some apple trees that were all rotted out and stuff, and we, uh, we had to get rid of them because they were falling over and losing branches and all that stuff. So, like I said, in the spring, we, we cut them down, and the stumps were still in the ground. And that became a little bit annoying because we've been out here hanging in the field and I got to drive all the way around that stuff in order to, you know, cut the hay. So what we did was we uh, rented an excavator from up the road and basically I'm going to get out here and I'm going to remove all the stumps. So, plus I think we're going to need to clip the field. We're debating on doing a third round of hay. Hmm. We'll see. But let's go get the excavator and let's go get to work.
well off in the west and uh we uh we got rid of some stumps so um, let me flip you around as you can see there's the first stump gone uh you saw all the footage this was the one that i did first and we got it mostly level and the good thing about the uh the mulcher is it has a roller so and it can handle all of this this rough stuff the, these branches and stuff it'll actually chip it up um, but for the most part we gotta you know clean it up a little bit because there are some rocks you know uh, it's not perfect and yeah so sorry about the sun like I said the sun's way off in the west now just about going down and then we'll go ahead and we'll walk down to the other spot where we uh, pulled out the the stumps and they're way across the field so but we got rid of those stumps it worked out you know um, the, I don't know if we got 100% of the of the filming because um, the uh, GoPro did run out of battery but man I'm about halfway there now and look at this I'm gonna flip you around look at all the apples on this one and I can smell them I can smell the apples already and then look at this one so last year we didn't get that many apples but man look at all the apples on this tree there is a ton of apples on this tree so yeah looks like we're gonna be making some uh, some apple wine some hard cider yeah so we'll have to uh, make a, a video on that and show you how we uh, how that's done it's some good stuff in fact I was at a uh, wedding yesterday and that's what we were drinking so and we've finally arrived here is the last stump that I did this was the monster of all the stumps and yeah I know we went the first one and then the last one but this one was the big stump and I ended up having to carry it across the field um, I'm pretty sure Rachel got some footage um, that I put up you know there'll be footage of me bringing it up because uh, I'm pretty sure she was videoing me but that's where this stump was and then we'll wander over here for the last one so this one was the easiest of them all I didn't even have to bring the stump out of here I uh, as I was working on the stump and you'll see it in the video or you saw it in the video it just fell apart because it was so rotted we are unfortunately going to have to take this one out uh, you can see the lean on it um, plus as you can see it's losing branches and stuff but it's got a very very extreme lean on it so if you look you can see she's leaning quite a bit and yeah it's gonna have to go um, the good news is we are planting new trees um, she already has two apples that uh, we're gonna put down in the lower corner where I had to go through and fix the earth where the tractor kind of sunk um, that area stays really damp I'm hoping it's good for you know the fruit trees we'll see I mean my neighbor has all these trees behind me on the other side of the fence there and they seem to be doing good so yeah we'll do that we'll put uh put the trees down in the lower field where they're kind of out of the way and uh i'll flip you around here in a second and show you what i'm talking about man i can smell the apple it smells delicious but i'm talking about down there in this corner 
where you can see where the bushes kind of end there. So we'll put them down there. Uh, keep them off the fence enough that we can get the mulcher through, you know, the tractor. And then this way, it's kind of out of the way. Wow, look at this. I just noticed this. There's big hollow in this one. Yeah, I think we lost this one too. Yeah, look at that hollow. So, unfortunately, it looks like this apple's gone too. And it's, I mean, I guess you can see what's happening because if you look, you can see the branches are all kind of dying and there's a broken one kind of hanging out up there. But, yeah. So I guess in the fall, it's going to be this one and that other one that has the severe lean on it are going to have to go. Uh, it's unfortunate. I really hate taking down trees that, uh, you know, they're fruit trees, no less. Not only are they giving us oxygen, they're giving us food or wine. But we really don't have a choice. Um, it was an adventure driving the, driving the exca excavator. Um, I have experience driving equipment. Um, in a previous life, I drove a lot of this equipment. But... So I retained a lot of the muscle memory and uh, it wasn't too big of a struggle. But, so we got all that out of here and uh, I'm on vacation the rest of the week. It is Sunday, but I'm on vacation the whole next week. And the plan is to go ahead and open the front of the property for the drain lines, the sewer lines, so that we can finish this portion of the renovation. So um, if you're not sure what I'm talking about, there's a couple videos back, well, a couple months back, we started a renovation of our only bathroom. And well, let me rephrase that. It was the only bathroom in the house. And now we have the other one that we that we just built from doing the party room, the extension into what was a pig barn. And so that's the bathroom that we're actually working out of right now that has a shower or all that. But we removed the original bathroom. Uh, the problem being is there was a issue with the, the drains coming from the house. So a lot of this was afterthoughts um, when it comes to how the house was built. So the house was built in several stages. I guess, and what they did was they put the kitchen in, I'm going to assume last, because when they were plumbing the hot water pipe, they literally drilled through the drain pipe. And so what would happen is, when we were running the sink and maybe the dishwasher was draining or the washing machine because the clothes washer was on that run as well, it would leak out of the pipe because of course there was a hole drilled in it, but it was up just a little bit. So what was happening is it would overflow and into this, basically this cement box alongside of my um, basement. And it would have this, this like bathtub effect where it would fill up this, this, uh, this box next to the basement and then it would slowly leach through the wall. Um, thankfully it was all, you know, none of it was toilet water. It was either from the dishwasher, the sink 
or the clothes washing machine. So it wasn't really dirty water, but it was. I mean, it was, it was what, you know, what everybody refers to as gray water. But anyway, it was filling up alongside the foundation because they basically put a ring wall and then built the, the barn next to it. Um, so what was happening is the foundation was holding the water and then it would just drain through the wall in the basement and, and the floor would be wet. And I'm like, what's going on with this? Um, all we knew is that it had clay piping in underneath the cement floor. So if you've watched the video, you saw where we opened up that floor and found out uh, that the issue was they drilled through the pipe, that the pipe was indeed okay uh, for the most part, but because they had drilled that hole through it, it was just leaking out of the pipe. So we were already committed and we had already had it all opened up. And so we went ahead and uh, trenched the floor to put in new, new drainage, all of that. Um, and we're using a friend to do all the plumbing. And he's been crazy, crazy busy. Uh, and we, we totally understand because, you know, um, here in Germany, it's the same as it is in America. Everything is getting expensive. Um, and it's very hard to find the skilled labor to do the work. And so he's been busy just inside the village of doing all this plumbing work. And, you know, uh, some of it, I was like, by all means, go do their stuff because we had a neighbor that had... Um, a medical issue that stopped him from being able to go upstairs to where his only bathroom was. And they needed a bathroom on the first floor. And that was around the time he was scheduled to come over and, and do our stuff. And I was like, nah, man, you gotta, you gotta go over and you gotta take care of him. Um, he lost his leg due to a medical condition and, you know, he needs that bathroom way, way, way more than I need my, my plumbing done. Um, so anyway... Uh, long story short is, you know, between scheduling and everything that's going on, um, our schedules never really converged to the point where he was able to do the work up and until like next week. So I took this week off so I can get everything open, get everything ready. Um, I still have a hole to drill in the basement wall into the trench that we dug in the uh, mudroom. And then um, I also have to trench the floor in the old bathroom for the pipes going out of the house. Um, that was basically waiting for me to open the front so that we can gauge the depth and everything and start from the wall and kind of work our way across the floor um, to do the rest of the trenching. Um, I do have to put uh, a drain in the middle of the floor. I have to put a drain in for the washing machine, the clothes washing machine, which is being moved in there. Um, so there's a lot of, a lot of little moving pieces, but now it's, you know, we're getting near the time and this is all that the project was waiting on to move forward was to get the drain in the, and the, uh, the, the fresh water in. So you can look forward to a lot. And I mean, a lot of renovation content coming up. Uh, as a matter of fact, some of it's going to be this week where I'm doing the uh, opening up the front along the front of the house with that excavator. And uh, then we're moving earth in here, you know, in back here. Uh, but that's holy, that's a part of another project. But I got the excavator for a week uh, just so that I could do all of this all at the same time. Uh, I figured bite the bullet, get the excavator for the whole week. Don't just get it for a day here or a day there. Um, because we do have a lot of stuff that we need to get done. So um, in the morning, I'm up. Uh, I won't start until about 9 because I am a good neighbor. Uh, so about 9 in the morning, I will be out front with this excavator and drilling, or not drilling, but digging all along the um, existing sewer line so that we can do a new tie-in. Um, I also have to dig around where the front door to the party room uh, is, you know, that little extension that we put on so that uh, we can finish the stairs and put an actual drain right there in front of the door. This is all part of the same project. Um, 
So we'll get it opened from that front door all the way down the house to basically the other front door. Um, and in the process, I think Rachel wants to do some, um, some like similar like French drain. I don't know what you call it, like a gutter type drain. You know, it's, it's the little U-shaped channel with the little metal grates on it. Um, I think she wants to run them along the front wall and kind of uh, L it across the sidewalk so that if we do have water building up there, it just goes down that little thing, I guess. I don't know. Um, more to come on that. But like I said, you know, in the morning we're going to uh, get cracking. Uh, we will be videoing it all, of course, and uh, getting it out to you. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get you this little snippet out to you guys of doing the, um, the stump removal and stuff. And then uh, the next installment is going to be, you know, I'm hoping full, full speed ahead of renovation. So I want to ask each, I want to ask you if you haven't, please click the like, click the subscribe. And if you want to know about our content, click the notification bell, right? Uh, to the people who are subscribed, we love each and every one of you. Um, and uh, yeah. If you know my motto, you know what I'm about to say. If you're thinking about family, if you're thinking about friends, give them that what's up or that WhatsApp. You know you'd love to hear from them too. And until the next installment, Afita Zane. Mm -hmm.